Okay. So that one's done. What? Really? Okay. I don't see that Xbox won't let me play on freaking line. I guess I can go ahead and do that. And I got a gold subscription, but unfortunately, um, yeah. There's no reason not working online. Whatever, though. No. Uh, okay, so let's go back. Let's go ahead and try. And see, a lot of people don't know this. And if you don't know this, uh, well, first of all, what's going on, guys? Zephonix here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so uh, Dead or Alive has been always a... Um, uh, a game close to my heart. I've been playing Dead or Alive um, for a very, very long time since the original Dead or Alive. So, you know, it's like, you know, all this is definitely uh, up my alley here. I actually own, for those who don't know, I actually own uh, Dead or Alive 1, 2, and 3 on the original Xbox. And uh, I believe I own Dead or Alive 4. I'm not really sure where it is, though. <laughs> okay, we're going to try uh, Hitomi. And see how Hitomi working out here. Put her on that particular outfit there. Put her on that outfit. Uh, let's see here. Uh, next, we got to choose another character. Uh, we can choose a Yane. Uh, 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 in. Ah, uh, trying to figure out which one. I believe um, N would be the best choice. Um, just because. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, excuse me, because the the storyline is a bit uh, Japanese, and because it's Japanese, it's always convoluted. But I believe N is actually the uh, trained uh, Itome, so not 100% sure on that. So please do not quote me on that. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it anyway. So it is what it is. All right, so let's get started here. Now Itome is uh, one of my favorite characters. Um, uh, um, as well as a Yame. It is time. I won't go easy. Get ready, fight. Um, and the reason why is uh because one thing I like about it, Dome, cause she is straightforward with her attacks. Like like her her attacks is straight um karate, which basically means that no flare, no no uh karate is a very regular karate, uh anyway. Uh is a very um how do you say? Um, it's a very straightforward martial arts style, and basically what I mean by that is that, like, uh, there, like I said before, there's no flair to it. But if you notice the moves, the moves pretty much uh, are, are very effective, you know. So it's one thing I just like about it. I'm not, I'm not saying that their um, their style is karate or anything like that, but it's very similar to it. So just all that's all I meant by that. Um, so, and I love her, they're both their moves, like, it literally, just, just to go ahead, and just, you know, it's, it's no dancing around like Ayame. Like, Ayami, Ayami's the one just got knocked to the ground right now, and I'll, I'll actually switch it to Hotomi right here. So, basically, what she'll do is, you'll notice a lot of her moves, if she actually attacks, what is this on, Rookie? Well, there's a good attack right there. You saw the attack, uh, really went ahead and, uh, um, it, yeah, see, it's a lot of spinning and stuff like that here, so... And that's the way her attack works. And the way um, it, um, Itomi's attacks, they don't really go that far. They, you know, she stubs her foot in your face, and that's literally it. You know? <laughs> she ain't trying to go ahead and play nice. You know, she ain't trying to go ahead and um, win style points. She's trying to go ahead and kick your ass. And I like that. At the same time, um, uh, like I said before, Yami is also a favorite character of mine uh, because of the simple fact that, um, damn. Uh, because of the fact that she can go ahead and um, like do a whole bunch of moves that like really dodge in and out when she needs to, you know, stuff like that. And the moves are pretty much made to go ahead and kind of, I don't want to say confuse you because that's not the right choice of words. But what it does is it'll go ahead and make it so like uh, it's kind of everywhere, you know, enough to make it so like, uh, you know, maybe you might have trouble keeping track of it. So... try to block it at the last second <laughs> and so the one thing also about um, Dead or Alive is well, one of my absolute favorite parts about it is, is that it's the actual um, uh, the mechanic how it works like that the counter mechanic allows me to go ahead and um, counter his moves and everyone can counter you know keep in mind it's not just one person wow really I did like three moves and only um, and missed two of them Nice. 
So anyway, uh, yeah, the counter moves allow you to go ahead and um, I tried that counter and that didn't work out. Let's see if I can counter. There you go. It allows you to go ahead and um, like literally change the way of a ba how a battle was flowing here. Just on a nick of dime. So I mean, you could literally just bang, bang. All of a sudden, now you're winning. You know. So it's one of the best parts about uh, the way the game plays. <laughs> Interesting. So, for those who don't know, um, N is actually the character uh, who I'm actually fighting right now. He's also, um, you know, the, my partner. But the other character is, is uh, Hayate. And basically what happened is, is that um, N is basically Hayate without his memory. So, this is funny. <laughs> so, like I said, those, comp those, uh, those things like that allow you to get in and Aw, oh, damn it. Allow you to get in and out of combos like really fast there. So, like you said, he just I was going to catch him in the combo there, but he caught me. I was able to go ahead and um and to go ahead and uh you know counter it as he as he just did. So the one thing about this game I absolutely love too is that um hold on one second, I'm get my ass kicked. There you go. Anyway, the, uh, one of the best parts about this is actually uh, the fact that, like, when they go ahead and, um, how to put this? I don't know, because I forgot what I was even talking about, girl, so it's somewhere, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, it is what it is. Oh, oh, I do like uh, the fact that you don't need to be a combo master in order to go ahead and play this game good, you know? Uh... All you need to know is that basically um, a lot of combos flowing and flow into each other, and um, direct the direction that you actually go ahead and actually uh, put the character in. Uh, for example, I'm using a D-pad to play here. So if I go ahead and put forward, you know, and punch, it does moves that are more aggressive. While at the same time pressing back punch will go ahead and do like kind of like you know spinning moves and stuff like that. Same thing with kicks. You know, uh, if I do a press forward and kick, it lets me. I can do, you know, aggressive forward um, knocking back moves, but my, you know, holding back allows me to do like pop-ups and stuff like that, and I can hold diagonal down and up and stuff like that. So it depends on which way you're actually holding the diagonal arm um, button as well as uh, which button you're pressing, you know, in terms of what you can do. So, I mean, it, it works out, basically. It makes it so you don't have to be this master of the game in order to go ahead and play the game very well. I am by no means a DOA master. In fact, there's a guy named DOA Master. So it's funny, but yeah, as there is actually a guy who has to handle DOA Master. Um, but the problem is that um, the way it works, though, is that you don't have to be like, a master of this game in order to go ahead and play it very well, and that's the biggest and best part about this game. Uh, it's like you can be competition for someone as long as you know the basics, you know, like kind of like uh, what is that game? What is that um, show called? Uh, uh, it 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 go Ikatashi or something like that. Basics. Basics! That's pretty much what it is. So, <laughs> I forget what the anime is called, which is yelling out, Basics! And that's all you gotta do is know the basics of this game. Once you know the basics, you can actually be a pretty competent fighter in this game. You don't have to play it for years. You just gotta know the basics. It is what it is. So, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna try a different combination here. Now, um, I'm gonna try uh, Ayane. Put her in her... I don't really like this costume, but I'm going to put it on anyway. In this game, you can actually change the hairstyle. I'll change over to D. I did not put on glasses. What are you doing? Or maybe I did. Did I? I was using the um, analog stick, so I could have actually put it on. Anyway, so let's see. Uh, bring his, so give him his um, white outfit right there. So, if I remember correctly, you gotta excuse me, because my my DOA lore might be a little flawed here, but I believe this these two are desired couple. I'm not 100% sure though, but it's been a while. So, also, funny story, um, the director of... Uh, 
the director of this game actually told PC gamers that uh, if they, you know, making mods, they better not go ahead and, uh, they better be classy with the mods if they want to make it, you know? And, and I, I found that abnormally hilarious. And the reason why is because this game, I mean, I, I love this game, don't get me wrong. It has, it's one of the best fighting games out there. I will go ahead and argue with that to the fucking cows come home. Don't get me wrong, you know? No way. You know, you want to strike, call Street Fighter, call Street Fighter. I will call you out on it and we will go, you know, we will talk about this and argue about it for hours because DOA is one of the best fighting games out there. Here's the problem with that. It also exploits women to no end, you know? So, you know, it is like the outfit you're seeing right here. This is, uh, this is light compared to what DOA is doing. And let's not to mention, uh, this is the game that brought forth, um, uh, breast physics and all that. I mean, not, probably not brought forward with it, but it is one of those games that actually, um, you know, like kind of made a lot of other companies do it too. So I'm just saying, you know, it made it made it famous, should I say? Damn it! Come on! <laughs> that was like an ultimate deal um, DDT right there. Anyway, so I just found it funny that the guy, you know, a guy who's telling me, uh, you know, telling PC gamers, you know, modders, if you will, they better be classy uh, about the uh, about the game that allows you to go ahead and see the girl's panties literally within a, a single move, you know? I'm just saying, you know, one that allows women to fight in like three or four different pieces of, um, of underwear, you know, or, or in this case, I guess it would be a uh, swimsuits or whatever, you know. It just it seems kind of hypocrite. There you go, exactly. <laughs> you saw it. Hold on, she'll she'll be out here soon. Damn, right there. You know, it's like take your own advice. You know. So, I mean, I'm just, just calling it like it is, you know? Just calling it like it is. Nope. <laughs> I used to do that on online games all the time. Like, I'll go straight running for the juggler, and I'm like, nope. Like right, you know, you telling me to, you telling me as a model to be classy. Yet every time I um go ahead and use a kick button for um Ayame, I can see her draws, right? But you know, but but I gotta be classy. <laughs> like get the holy hell out of here, you know? It's like stop your nonsense. Anyway, I'm good. Damn, she got look, look, look. a breast. Do not jiggle still like that. Calm them down, okay? A storm is coming. Let's see how strong you are. Get ready, fight. Damn, nice. Whoop, one button. Anyway, so that's one thing about this game too. And that's like if you really want to go ahead and play this game, that's how you do it right there too. It's about them combos right there. The jugglers and the combos. I just want to see if I can get like a perfect... He is the wind. You heard him. Even though he's clearly not. Is that in? Us oh, in. So. Oh, dude. Oh. Like I still, I still, it still bugs me out too. By the way, I'm playing this on the Xbox One. Just letting you know. Uh, I, I find it hilarious still though that whole thing about the um being classy part. Hey, 
It's like, you're sitting and telling me, I, I still can't get over that. Like, <laughs> it's like, what exactly are you referring to? Damn. That was, it kind of swept into a power bomb right there. It's nice. Anyway, I just find it hilariously funny that um, a, a game that um, is, you know, lets a woman's breast bounce for years and at the same time, you know, constant panty, you know, whatever, is the game that, you know, guy who made that game is trying to tell me to go ahead and be classy when making mods. It's like, if you don't get out my face. I'm sorry, but that just, that bugs the hell out of me. Like, I have never heard some bullshit come out of someone's mouth in my life like that, you know? And I thought YouTubers were bad, but this, I don't know. Anyway, so. And I want to play online, but I can't play online because when I try to play online on the Xbox, it starts freezing up. It's some bullshit, but moving on here. So, um, let's see here. I kind of stuck right here. I can't even go any further now. So, so it looks like that actually was on, that was on normal. Interesting. I'll go ahead and play on easy now. So there are a couple of characters in here too. Um, I'm actually looking forward to, you got Kasume. Uh, Kasume is pretty much the Ryu of the game. You know, she's the main protagonist um, for lack of a better word when it comes down to uh, uh, fighter games. You have Alpha 152. Alpha 152, which for the record does not look very well in this game. Um, but anyway, Alpha 152 is actually um, a kind of a transparent version of, um, of Kasumi. So whatever. Brad Wong is uh, someone who uses the drunken style um, pretty well, actually. He's a really cool character. Uh, uh, Mila is actually new to the series with the care uh, with the actual. Um, she's new to the series. I believe she's a kickboxer or a taekwondo. I forget which one. Um, either way, it's good for me. So <laughs> yeah, so she plays that one. She's also a character I definitely want to pick up. Um, play some characters I absolutely do love. You know, some characters I just don't give a damn about. Like Brad Wong, don't care. Uh, Mila, care. Helena, don't care. You know, it's like that. So Helena's a decent character in herself, don't get me wrong. Just whatever when it comes to hell. Um, Kokoro is a decent character. She plays very similar to Pi uh, from Virtual Fighter, which for the record is in here, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, we got Bayman. Bayman is okay. Um, he's one of those guys with the straight, uh, uh, kind of like the straightforward uh, martial arts. So it's like a military uh, variant of martial arts. Um, she has an assassin style, which is uh, decent here. Once again, um, you know, breasts popping out, but you telling me to go ahead and not be classy, but you know, she got a titties popping out at me, but okay. Anyway, Rig, uh, it, actually, you know what? I think Rig is Taekwondo, and I think um, Mila is actually uh, kickboxing. So Rig is definitely a character, Rig, right here. It's definitely a character I'll be playing with here, so um, definitely, a, definitely a good character right there. Jane Lee is, um, uh, he uses the same style that, uh, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Um, Bruce Lee uses. Can't believe I forgot Bruce Lee. God damn. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, uh, G, G Kwon Do, I think it is. G Lee Do or something like that. I forget exactly what it is. Zach. <sighs> Moving on. Ayane, uh, basically is the Ken of the game. And basically, in the, in the original game, she was actually the final boss. So uh, it ends up, the storyline actually goes that she was, a, um, she was, uh, I believe, she grew up with Ayane. Uh, excuse me, grew up, she grew up with Kasume. And, uh, you know, basically, uh, Kasume is from a, um, uh, kind of like a, a high house, you know, if you will. Kind of like a, a respected house. And she wasn't. She was basically a street urchin. So, you know, she kind of started from the bottom in terms of uh you know uh, you know how the ninja house works so uh hayabusa as you guys know is the one called the super ninja uh basically uh he's basically a ninja who is super nah uh he's basically um he's in the i believe in the same house as uh kasume he's a higher uh, higher level one too so it's actually pretty cool um i don't know who the hell that is i'm assuming she's new to this particular game but i don't know who the hell that is like, um, uh, Nyo Tengu, uh, I don't know who that is. Anyway, Elliot is, uh, I believe he was in the last game too, but, uh, he's a pretty decent character here. Uh, he's got a kind of like a monk style fight, a fighting style-ish 
kind of way. It's not 100% like that, but it's kind of like that. Tina's my lady, okay? This is wifey right here. This is my waifu. She, <laughs> I love her because her fighting style is like straightforward. Like I said, I like. I told you guys I love my fight style straightforward. But at the same time, she's got these wrestling moves that she'll go ahead and, you know, get you, you know, tackle you and then flip it over to another wrestling move. And she's a great character. Long story short, she's a fantastic character to play with. Um, and for the record, in the actual Dead or Alive movie, she was actually one of my favorite characters as well. So, I mean, it, it, it did kind of work out that way. Uh, I forget. I, I know who this is. I believe this is Lisa, too. Um, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Why bother? I can't. But the thing about it is, is that her style is actually very close to um, the Luchadora style wrestling. And just like Tina, she can go ahead and kind of, you know, kind of lock into uh, different moves there. Um, and a lot of her good moves are jumping moves. So, like I said, a lot of moves are really good, you know. So, um, now, uh, Akira is actually uh, from Virtual Fighter. Uh, this is what this is the main reason why we decided to pick up this game. My, me, my brothers, and all that, because we're all like some of us were like I'm a Dead or Alive fan, but he's a Virtual Fighter fan. So, but we both played both games, and so it was kind of cool that uh, all of a sudden Virtual Fighter characters were actually being introduced into this game, and we were definitely like, yeah, we definitely picking this game up. So we were happy that it came out coming out for the PC too, because I'll be picking it up for that as well. Anyway, uh, so uh, Akira is. Uh, his fighting style is actually very straightforward. <laughs> he's got one of those, like, he's got one of those fighting styles that really don't have too many combos. And, like, the maximum combo you'll actually get is, like, maybe, like, three, if, if that. And you're definitely knocked on the ground afterwards. So it's very interesting there. Uh, Sarah, uh, always been a fan favorite. It's funny because um, uh, Akira uh, is the actual Ryu of Virtual Fighter. He's the main protagonist, or for lack of a better word. While Sarah, I believe, is the Ken of the actual thing here. She is actually the, she's the protagonist or the reverse protagonist or however you put it. I think she is. Uh, so, you know, so yeah, she's actually, she's not the enemy or whatever, but she's like the secondary character. I forget exactly how that works. It's been a while. But definitely one of my favorite characters to go ahead and play here. I really can't wait to really dig deep and find out what kind of, uh... Uh, what kind of characters, excuse me, what kind of outfits that Sarah has. So I'm definitely going to be doing that very soon here. Kind of looking at the outfits that she has and stuff like that. Uh, Bass is actually another guy who's straightforward martial art because, you know, he's a wrestler style. But once again, just like Tina, for the record, he is Tina's father. Uh, he has a lot of really good wrestling moves. Uh, and of course, if you didn't notice, he looks very similar to Hulk Hogan or Macho Man Randy Savage because it looks like his character is actually designed to kind of look in that direction. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, Li Fang, once again, plays very similar to Pai, and basically she has that Chinese style martial art. So I know I kind of, I didn't really explain that when I mentioned about, um, uh, Kokoro, but, uh, both of them have this, um, um, kind of like a martial arts that's very similar to, uh, a Chinese style. So, I mean, it's actually pretty cool, you know? Um, um, Hitomi, I already told you, one of my favorite characters, um, strong karate style. I don't know who Phase 4 is. I have no idea who Phase 4 is. It looks like, um, I was going to say Kagomi. It looks like, uh, Kasumi. <laughs> she went like, hit the mark. Nah. Um, she looks like Kagomi. I mean, not uh, Kasumi, but I don't know who that is. Anyway, uh, Hayate is actually the head ninja of the, uh, cl of the main clan of ninjas from over here. So most of the ninjas you see here, such as like Ayane, uh, Kasume, Hayabusa, are all part of the ninja clan that is run by, uh, Hayate. So uh, he is actually the the Kage or the um, Hokage or whatever you want to call it of the, his particular Hokage because he said I am the wind. Is it Hokage? Is Ho wind? I believe it is. Not sure. Anyway, um, Radu is actually someone who I have no idea who he is. He looked like uh, Kano wannabe. Um, not really sure who he is, but I can't really um, speak on him. Marie Rose, I'm assuming, is a new character to this game here. Uh, I have no idea who she is. Never even saw this chick before, so whatever. Uh, uh, Momiji is, um, she's from, where is she from? Oh, right, she's from um, his game, Hayabusa's game. Uh, I can't remember the name of the game right now. It's, it's his ninja game. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, she's actually the priestess of that particular um, place there, so... 
Um, so she, you know, her fighting style, I'm pretty sure, is decent, but I have not played her, so I wouldn't know. Um, being honest about it. Uh, I believe she's new to the game, too. I think she, she just introduced um, either this last round or the updated version of um, the second version of Dead or Alive 5. Uh, Genfu is also from um, Dead or Alive, uh, and he is actually a very decent fighter as well. I forget his fighting style. It's kind of like an old man Chinese kind of style. Um, very similar to Pi's father, speaking of which, Pi! Um, Pi was my first, um, when I played Virtual Fighter, she was my go-to character. And the reason why is because of the fact that she had the ability to go ahead and counter a lot of people's moves. And now that, I mean, she's, her, 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 she's become a little, um, less because of the fact that she's now in a game where everyone can be, you know, where her move can be countered by every, you know, everyone can counter moves. But still, I like the character, so, um, I'm really looking forward to going and teaming her up with her and stuff like that, like Lee Fang and stuff like that, so... You know, since they both have very similar fighting styles. Jackie is actually the sister, uh, the brother, rather, of uh, Sarah, which is her. And also, Jackie has the same fighting style as... Him. Uh, the Jeet... Um, Jeet Lee Duel or something like that. I believe it is Jeet Lee Duel. I wish they kind of had the fighting styles here, but they don't. But oh well. Anyway, so he has that fighting style too, so... Uh, I like him too because he was like like back in the day he was like very cocky and he comes from virtual fighter now the problem with him not the problem now is like back in the day he'd be like yeah all the time and because you know he, he kind of you know and I'm faster than lightning you know and stuff like that yeah he's talk all good about himself so I'm looking forward to playing him in this game I really am um in as I explained to you is actually um uh, uh, Hayate with no memory so I could be wrong about these storylines too. Just don't don't quote me on these. So I'm really a big fan of him as well here. Um, I'm checking his outfits very soon here. Uh, Rachel is actually also from she's from um, Hayabusa's Ninja Game as well. And if I remember correctly, she had this big ass axe. And of course, once again, this, the actual question comes up. Well, you're telling us not to go ahead and uh, you know be good with the characters here. Yet this one's half naked. Just saying. Uh, Leon. Uh, Leon is actually kind of like a uh, Iraqi fighter. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. Um, uh, once again, I have no idea who the hell Hanako is. I mean, wh whatever. But still, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> anyway, so N is actually pretty cool here. Um, I'm trying to see some of, um, some of his outfits here. Uh, a regular martial arts gi. Um, that chains and um, I guess prisoner. Um, a mesh shirt kind of thing. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. Oh, what the hell? Christmas outfit. Um, whatever outfit. I'm just gonna move along. Interesting jacket. Um, uh, Santa outfit. Pirate outfit. Okay. And. See, as you see right there, and this is one thing about the games, like the guys don't have a lot of outfits. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter too much, uh, depending on what you're looking for. But yeah, so Ayane is actually one of my favorite characters here. So take a look at some of her outfits here. She has uh, her black uh, martial arts, uh, her black ninja outfit, which I really do like. Uh, she has this purple outfit, which is once again her uh, outfit from uh, part two, I want to say. Um, part two of Dead or Alive. This is her outfit from part two. Actually, I think this is from... This outfit's from part one and part two. This outfit, I believe, is from part three and and, and on. So, I think, anyway. Uh, here's another outfit of hers. It's okay. Whatever. Uh, here's a kind of modified outfit of, uh, of the purple one. One of the purple ones. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, so, now we have a... Um, an outfit looks like she's in some kind of military gear. I don't know. Uh, I actually do like this outfit because this outfit makes her look more another. This is one of her another one of her ninja outfits. In fact, I think this might be her ninja 2015 outfit that I've been hearing so much about. Not 100% sure, but it is what it is. Um, here's another one. I don't know what to tell you about these outfits. And once again, I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying. Here's one in her snow bunny outfit, half naked. Uh, here's another one, half or naked. Here's a school outfit. School girl outfit here. Here's um, an outfit with um, uh, overall side boob edition. 
Uh, here's, uh, like, it's, this is kind of like a school outfit. Uh, basically a school gym outfit. So, yeah. Uh, once again, um, here's a, another outfit where she's looking militant. Um, Burling Beach outfit here. Okay. okay. Um, let it snow, let it snow, use a hoe. Um, I'm a fighter outfit. Those were like the ones when they were trying to go ahead and kind of get away from the whole sexual thing and then all of a sudden add a whole bunch of sexual things to the earth. Okay, fair enough. Uh, here's another one. Uh, here's another kind of uh, a school outfit, if you will, school gym outfit. I think this might be a swimsuit too, I think, in school. Not 100% sure. Anyway, uh, here's a uh, nice little, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, here's another school outfit. This is actually your other school outfit I mentioned, but it has a writer jacket on it. Um, here's another outfit here. The outfits are decent, actually. They're not too bad. It's just, I mean, yeah. So here's another. Uh, not really sure what that outfit's all about here. Here's another outfit where she's actually wearing a... Uh, Sunflower-ish thing. And... Here's her with boobs hanging out. Once again, not complaining, but just saying. <laughs> it's like, I kind of got to pull it out after that. Pull it out. I got to go ahead and got to mention it after those people uh, went ahead and kind of said what they said. We're, we're running into like 30 outfits here. This is funny because you guys only have 10, but you know, whatever. Uh, like I said, lots and lots of outfits, mostly for females, but it is what it is, you know. Okay, interesting. A lot of these outfits don't even have like a reason to do it. Like I understand that it's the Christmas outfits, but what's with this outfit? And let me try someone else here too. I'm gonna go to a Yame real quick, and uh, I have back. I'm gonna go to uh, Itomi. And I'm just going to go backwards here. I'm not going to look at all of them, but I want to take a look at some of them. Okay, so we got this particular outfit. It's cute, but... Police outfit. Uh, look like a Shrine Maiden outfit with extra side boob. Maid outfit. Pajama... <laughs> Pajama Jamma Gang. Uh, okay, uh... Nurse's outfit. So the outfits, like, I don't know about that. What is that exactly? I'm sure I could, um, <laughs> I call it Gagome. God damn it, Yasha. Uh, so outfit here. Here's another um, police outfit with breasts hanging out. Once again, I'm not complaining about the breasts. Just saying, okay, that's an interesting one. Did not even see that coming. Giggity. Main outfit. Overall side boob outfit. It's funny. I wonder, would you actually be able to fight with that with that much breast? Like, I have a friend who has, like, a huge rack. I'm going to actually ask her one day. Like, can you actually, like, what can you do with those racks? Like, let me see you try something. <laughs> like, let me see you try ninja moves. Let's see how you work, how that works out for you. You know, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> like, I'm actually going to ask her that, too, I swear. Like, I'm like, okay, hold on a second. Okay, let me try some of these, uh, some outfits here that I, uh... Smorgasbord! So, right here, and you can also change the hairstyles, too, but, I mean, she's wearing a... Oh! I was gonna say it doesn't really matter because she's wearing a hat, but apparently it does matter. So, you got the hat. Oh, she had a hat. Okay, put some glasses on her for like no reason. And then there's this. I don't know what this is. But put it on anyway. We fight. Prepare. Get ready, fight. <laughs> That's one, <laughs> like I said, that's one of the reasons why I do like her, because, like, she has all kinds of moves that, like, her, my favorite ones with, moves with her is her running moves. Get ready, fight. Damn. Ah, 
uh, that was another one of those, uh, I mentioned before about the moves that, um, um, that allow me to go ahead and, um, kind of switch up between, you know, like the throw moves. Like I can do a throwing move and then jump into another throwing move. I just did that basically. Here it goes again. Nice. <laughs> I love I guess I just love this character. Like her throws are just so awesome. And yes, I just threw Apologies. Oh, like I said, that was her uh Let's go. It is time. Get ready, fight. Oh. So, like, like I said before, right now I'm playing this on Xbox. Even I bought the game already on uh on PC already, but I, and this is actually the core fighter. I haven't actually bought the game yet uh, on um, Xbox. I'm not saying I bought it, but I might. I'm just because, well, I might not buy the game per se, but like, I, I mean, why not really? I do like Dead or Alive. I would like to support it. Um, I'll try to, <laughs> that's what I tried to do the other time. <laughs> I keep mind she's talking about sincere apologies because like I said before that character um, that she's fighting is actually her whatever like I haven't actually like and that's the thing too I haven't actually played the story mode to um to this game yet so I think I'm gonna actually purchase this game ah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, honey, that blue purple pants make your ass look big, girl. Just saying. You gotta fight better than that. You do gotta fight better than that, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I can't avoid this fight. You can't avoid this fight. No way. Get ready, fight. showing and everything. was decided though. Prepare. Oh shit, Santa! I've been good, Santa, I've been good, Santa! trying to counter all Santa's moves because you know I'm trying to get on the naughty list and shit
I mean, obviously I'm fighting good because I got my breasts and my breasts hanging out and my glasses still on. And I believe that um, this game, Dead or Alive, was one of the first, if not the first, um, actual um, fighting game with an actual integrated storyline. So that's something too. Um, I believe that, um, uh, I think, um, I forget, part three, part four? I think part three had, uh, had an integrated storyline and whatnot, so. Uh, part two actually had an integrated storyline. That's right. So, you know, I gotta wonder too. If hopefully uh, Xbox be smart and say we'll allow you to go ahead and uh, um, you know, emulate older games. If they do, uh, this could be gimmick. I don't know, man. Sometimes I wonder about it. Uh, Microsoft and Xbox. You know, that stuff would be the ultimate win right there. But anyway, I can't go ahead and complain about it. Okay. I'm going to try to play online. The problem playing online is that um, it usually freezes up the game when I go into a ranked match. So we're going to try. If it freezes up, fuck it. 